I'll listen to this. Parents and students in Sacramento also had to go on lockdown today. A student is now recovering after being shot at Grant High School. Another student, a 14-year-old, was arrested in that case. Shortly afterward, parents and community activists banded together to support students and families. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live at Grant Union High School right now. And Roxanne, such a scary situation. How are parents and students coping? It was, Laura. Now, when we first arrived here, there were dozens of parents that were here on scene. One worried mother actually telling us off camera that her student inside the high school sent her a text message saying, Mom, there's a shooting. I love you. Very worrisome, of course, for that mother. But it's unclear how many students actually witnessed the incident that happened here. But what is clear is that they were left very traumatized, both for students and for their parents. She called me, she was like, Dad, I think I heard a shooting. And I was like, um, well, what, you know, how many sounds did you hear? Shortly before 10 Tuesday morning, students at Grant Union High School began calling their parents to notify them of a shooting on campus. The school was immediately put on lockdown. We were all just sitting there waiting with no real news for a little bit. And then we heard, oh, yeah, no, someone got shot in the arm. There's an ambulance. Sacramento police responded to the shot spotter activation at the high school and officers began working with Twin Rivers Police. Located a student that had been shot in the arm. Uh, that student was quickly transported to an area hospital. Uh, he sustained a, a gunshot wound, non-life threatening, non-critical to his arm. Working together with Twin Rivers, they quickly apprehended the uh, individual involved in the shooting down the street. Police say the shooting happened on campus outside in this parking lot. The suspect, a 14-year-old boy, was transported to juvenile hall and booked on assault-related charges. The victim is a 17-year-old boy. What led to the shooting is now under investigation, but students say they're fed up with the violence surrounding their school. This is not the first time. It's pretty frustrating that it's something that keeps going on. And of course, I want to be safe at school. Like, that's something that's so important to me, my family, my mother, of course. Um, I just, it's pretty sick. Like, we should not have to be dealing with this every day. I hate that this happened so much at the school, and we're expected to go back the next day like nothing happened. Because something did happen. Because of the situation, Richard Baer says he's taking it upon himself to talk to his daughter and warn her about possible shootings. But you got to leave yourself an exit. Everywhere we go, everywhere we restaurants, I have to sit facing the door. So we, we stay on top of the situations like that because you never know. And it's not, like I said, it's not just school, it's life, unfortunately. Just a few minutes ago, the superintendent with the school district sent us a letter asking students and their parents, encouraging them to say something to officials if they do know anything about today's incident. They also say that they're going to have a support team in case anyone here needs someone to talk to after this traumatizing incident. Chris, Laura. Yeah, Roxanne, such powerful words from those students. It's certainly going to sit in my mind and my heart for a long time. Such a scary and distressing situation. Our hearts go out to the families involved. Roxanne Elias, thank you for that.